name is Bernadine Tay and I'm the founder and tea designer at Quintessential. And I absolutely love tea, not only drinking it, but cooking with it as well. And today I'm going to show you a very simple, healthy recipe called La Peto. And it is one of Burma's iconic dishes. It is pickled fermented tea leaves and it's beautiful in salads. So we're gonna make this today. So you can use 50 grams of any green tea, but I've chosen to use this wonderful green tea called Longjing or Dragon Well. And you look at it, it's olive green, blade-like. It has a wonderful nutty, chestnutty character, which really adds to the dish and interacts well with the other ingredients. So what I'm gonna do is just pour hot water, not boiling, because it burns the leaves, hot water just to cover the leaves and already you really smell that beautiful chestnut chestnut flavor and just allow it to infuse for 10 to 15 minutes and then throw the water away and do this about two or three times. Whilst waiting for the green tea to soak and unfurl, we're going to mix all the other ingredients into a big bowl and then into the processor. So I have used two banana shallots here and I'm just roughly chopping them up. Oops, don't have to worry. So don't have to be too, too precious about the size or anything because it's all going to go into the processor anyway. And the recipe calls for two um, cloves of garlic, but I'm just gonna put three because I really love that really garlicky flavor. And if you've ever eaten kimchi, I think you'll start to see that there are a lot of similarities between kimchi and lapeto. So then we're gonna add six spring onions, or some people call them scallions, but uh, they're one and the same thing. So we'll just chop the ends off here again just roughly chop because all of it is going into the food processor anyway. So here you go, you can use six. Just roughly chop them. In goes into the bowl. And then we're going to add also about a three inch piece of ginger. So I'm just breaking the end off here and skimming the ginger. Again, just put it into the bowl. After which, what we'll do is put uh, three, the juice of three lemons and one lime. So I'm just cut the lemon in half. And this adds a wonderful acidity to the pickles. It's gonna also help with the fermentation process as well. So after adding three lemons, we're going to put the juice of just one lime for that extra zing because lime always gives that sort of tropical flavor. Reminds you of the hot sun. So last but not least, we're going to put cabbage in it. Now the recipe calls for Napa cabbage or Chinese cabbage, very much like what you would use in kimchi, but I it wasn't in season and I couldn't find it. So I'm going to use sweet hot cabbage and if you uh, find yourself in the same situation, you can use any cabbage, sometimes maybe even kale. It's just to get the fermentation going, those good bacteria really, really coming out as the um, tea leaves ferment uh, for the next two or three days. So I'm just going to put, not very much, but just about two cups of sweet hard cabbage. And again, I'm just going to roughly chop it because it's all going into the food processor. Put it in a bowl right here. So I'm gonna put a healthy amount of salt. I'm using Himalayan sea salt, but you can use any salt you like. And because I love my food spicy, I'm going to put some chili flakes and I'm gonna put extra. So you can put as little or as much as you like. So we've put all those gorgeous ingredients into the food processor and now we have it all nicely ground up. So what we want to do is I have strained the tea leaves 
taken away all the water and it's just left with, with uh, the you know wet tea leaves here. So I'm gonna mix it in now, all of it. And you'll see how it all comes together. So with your hands, because I love getting close to my ingredients, just sort of massage it into each other and that way it all combines well and homogeneously and then we'll put it into a jar to set aside in a dark room for two or three days and once you're ready with the fermentation and it's wonderfully nice sour and bitter pickle then you put it in the fridge and it lasts for up to a month. So after putting in a jar make sure it's nice and tight close it well and put it in a dark room for about two to three days and just wait for it to ferment and enjoy the lovely flavors. This is one we made three days ago. So don't worry if the color changes, it's meant to. But what you're gonna get is this lovely, wonderfully gingery citrus aromas. Okay, so let's just taste this here. Mmm. It's so light, refreshing, slightly bitter and tangy but I can see how it would work really well with salads. I'm just enjoying a little bit here with my cup of tea. But if you'd like to know more about how you can use these fermented tea leaves in salads, subscribe to my channel and we'll see you soon.